I am so looking forward to tonight. I'm nervous, I'm anxious, but the overriding feeling is just pure excitement. I came into the first night wanting to be entertained. So there were several men who stood out and did that for me. Well, first of all, my name is Brian. Brian. Brian came in on a mission, and I liked him from the moment he came out of the limo. He stood out, he spoke in Spanish. Te quería decir que te ves espectacular esta noche. He told me he was trouble. I said, oh, I like trouble. Have you ever dated a Colombian guy before? Not Colombian. Oh, girl. <laughs> You in, in? You, oh, in okay. you in trouble, you in trouble. I like a confident, direct person. That's why he got the first impression rose. And the kiss, he sealed it with the kiss. I mean, that, that helped too. Oh, <laughs> I'll take that. I'm Bryce. <laughs> nice to meet you, Bryce. Bryce stood out to me, he swept me off my feet. Never could dream of you this beautiful. Aww. He was able to do it in my dress, which weighed about 25 pounds, so that was impressive. I think it's pretty clear after watching Rachel with Nick Vial in that season, she really needs and wants someone who can just be honest, can just relax, and have an intelligent conversation, but be truthful and keep the fake stuff somewhere else because she's all about authenticity. When it comes to the fantasy suite, when I went on Nick's season, I said I wasn't going to do it. But by the time I got there, you know, my feelings for Nick were strong. I was falling in love with him. And so for me, that private time was really important to see, you know, if what we had was the same on camera as it was off. So coming into my journey and doing Bachelorette, that's exactly like what I'm going to expect. So it'll be, you know, if I move forward with it, it'll be the person that I want to see if they're the same off camera, who I want that extended time and more conversation with.